Hey guys, it's Angie and Andrew with Drags, Tags, and Confections, and we welcome you to day two of the Spring Easter card hop with using non traditional colors. And for those of you following along, today's letter will be the letter N. Now there are six of us participating in this hop, and we hope that you can join each of us for those days. Um, you will see our video twice. You will see us again on Saturday with a different card. And at the end of those six, seven videos, um, you will have letters to unscramble. And you can go to Create at Home with G for a hit on the blog and enter your word that you have unscrambled for a chance to win one of two prizes. One will be a gift code to Create at Home at G.com. And the second is going to be a conglomeration of gifts from the six of us who are participating in the hop. So we hope that you can stick around and watch all seven videos and unscramble the letters. So today um, the card I'm going to show you is going to be this one. I will show you how I got to this point. And I kind of had to scratch my brain with untraditional pastel colors. But kind of liking how it came out. So we're going to jump into that now. I'm starting with, sorry guys, I'm not sure what's falling over. Nothing new here. I'm starting with a four and a quarter by five and a half base top folding card. I have a piece of watercolor paper that I've trimmed down to fit inside that card base. And the piece that I've cut off, I'm going to use that for my sentiment. I'm going to lay that aside for now. I'm going to lay the card base aside for right now. And while we were at the Dollar Tree um, the other night, I found these stickers for spring that I just absolutely loved. And I kind of had in my head that I wanted to do something with a bike for spring. There's only one problem. This bike is pastel. It has pastel colored flowers in it. So we're going to remedy that. I also used the little butterfly out of this one too. So I'll pull out my stickers here and I'll set them aside for right now. And we're going to work on the base. Now, ouch, darn pliers got me. Get one of my rags out here to spray on. For the base, I've used a combination of Dilution Sprays, the Vibrant Turquoise, White Linen, Crushed Grape, London Blue, and Fresh Lime. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this and set it aside for a little bit, and um, then we'll go ahead and peel, or not peel yet, we're going to paint the sticker. For the sky, I started with the London blue. And a little bit of the turquoise, just to kind of darken it up. And I put the turquoise at the bottom as well to blend in with the fresh lime for the grass, grassy area, so to speak. And the white, I just kind of, okay, this white gave me fits earlier today. And well, there, oh, good grief. Well, it wasn't supposed to do that. It didn't work earlier. Well, now it doesn't really work. Well, and I did put a little bit of purple in the sky for just some depth. It's not going to do much, but I'm just going to try to pull some of that color.
just going to set this aside and let that <clears throat> dry a little bit while we work on the bike. So what I did to overcome the uh, pastel colors, dug through and pulled out some Spectrum pens. Wink Stella pen, which I just used to blend some colors together. A um, couple mermaid markers, water brush, a couple of dilution paint pens. Uh, this is cut grass, cut gr crushed grape, London blue, and post box red. And I also have two paint pens. Um, one's copper, one's gold. Both are by Pen Touch. Now I left the sticker on here so that it was easier to go to color this in and not have to worry about it slopping it all over the place. Pretty much anything on the bike that was blue I have transformed to the gold and the copper. The copper I'm going over the darker parts of the bike and I took the gold through where there's some highlights. Now this would work um, if you have a sticker that you want to use but it may not coordinate with the project you're working on you could very easily go in and color over it and make it work with what you're working on. Now there is some glitter on here and you can hear if you hear that scratch and that's the paint pen going over that glitter. But I like the texture that it left behind. Kind of looked like the bike was a little rusty. Now I'm going to go in, what I did with the flowers here was just go in with a couple mermaid markers. One is blue bottle, the other is deep sea. And the dilution paint pens. And I darkened up the flowers. First with the paint pen to give the mermaid marker something to stick to and I didn't um, do it very well because they they're acrylic paints so they're going to be they're water soluble so the water that's in the mermaid markers is going to make that paint move and I've also done the same thing with the Wink of Stella go in with I use the red one on here um Went and darkened these pink flowers up, but this time I'm going to use the clear mermaid or the clear wink of Stella to push that paint around like a water brush. So it'll darken it up, but it'll get, leave that shine. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera here, guys, and I will catch you back after I get the painting done, and we'll go to the next part of the card. Okay guys, so we're back and I've finished coloring in the bike and the flowers and darkened them up. I'm going to lay them aside for a second and our background piece is now dry and I'm just going to kind of let it go haphazardly right now. I do have some wet glue on the back because this is watercolor paper and because of that tooth that's on it, um, sometimes tape just doesn't hold it quite right. is a way that you 
week. Well, as long as I don't tear it. Well, holy cow. If you've been here before, you know that if something can go wrong, it usually does. So, okay, there's that. And, well, I can see one issue here. Did not realize that the back of that like a 3D sticker and the part of the bike is showing through on the underneath. Sorry guys, I thought I had a have to sit here and wait for Grandma Moses to get done coloring. There we go. That's all filled in. Now I did notice that when I put this on here I have to kind of tilt it a little bit and it gives it adds to that 3D effect to make it look like the bike is just popping off the page. Just gonna stick that down. And then I did go in with the olive olive jade spectrum marker on the other one. And I just pulled up some grass pieces. Just around the bike there to make it look like it's sitting in something, not just floating on the ground. For the sentiment, I just went in and handwritten um, just a spring hello on there. And right there. I'm going to color this one with the Moonstone Spectrum. These are the Spectrum Sparkle. I went over my pencil letters with a fine tip sharpie so that the, uh, the uh, because they're alcohol based, the water based pens won't smudge the lettering. Just kind of make that blend into the sky there a little bit. Just a little bit of foam tape and I did fishtail the ends of the sentiment piece a little on one end come on okay it looks like I'm all thumbs today guys there we go Offset this just a little bit. And there we go. Now I'll go in here afterwards and I will put a piece of white writing paper in here to put the note on, to write the note on. And there we go. We have a couple different variations of a spring birthday card using not so vibrant colors, or not so pastel colors. I'm sorry, guys. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that and remember that today's letter is the letter N and be sure to follow the rest of the week and the weekend to get the rest of the letters go to create at home with G for the blog at the end of the week and be entered enter your word to uh, be entered for the two prizes that are being given away and be sure to catch yesterday's video with Little Spaceman Paper Crafts, who is Donna Clark and Jenkins. And get your letter for yesterday as well and her beautiful card that she designed. 
So guys, have a good day, and we will see you on Saturday. Thanks, guys. Bye now.